Yo, how we doing guys? Welcome to another Outbreak New Dawn video. This is going to be on the new update, which has added clans, the new reflection and shadows and stuff like that, and a couple of other little things. So we're going to be having a look at that. There'll be timestamps in the description below if you want to skip to a certain part of the video. So I hope you enjoy this one, guys. Let's get on with the video. Alright guys, so the first thing I want to look at is the new clan system. So the finally added clans, which is awesome. So obviously now we can get our communities together. Here I am making my clan. It's going to be called the Zero Live Club. So if you play the game or you're thinking about playing the game and you decide, you know, you want to join a clan, make sure to jump over, hit that clan tab, have a look down the list, find the Zero Live Club and make sure to join because obviously the more the better. And when I say the more the better, so when you make a clan, you can only have five members, but you can upgrade it for more slots. I I upgraded mine up to 100 slots, so I can have up to 100 members. Most of the other clans are between 5 and 10, and there's only one other clan that I know of that has 100. So we have a lot of slots. We've got the space. Make sure to jump in. But yeah, so here's the new clan tab. This is me making the clan. It's not too bad. Like Obviously, there's not loads to it. Obviously, it's only just coming to the game, though, so I'm hoping they're going to expand on it, make it a lot better, um, and, yeah, just improve on it. But it opens, like, it, this opens up a lot of doors for the future, like, because you could have, um, like, map control, clan fights, and stuff like that, so it's going to be good. So, yeah, that's the clan update. Let's have a look at a couple more things. All right, so you can see from the screenshot that I took, uh, there's like a bit of mist, a bit of fog to the game. So they have actually added fog to the game. It's not a great deal. It doesn't really do much. It just adds to the environment, makes the game a little bit more spooky or whatever. It's not very, it's not overpowering. Like you, it's not there that much. And when it is there, you can see stuff quite clear. So to me, I, I think it's a great thing to add to the game. It may, you know what I mean? It, it makes the game look a little bit better. So you can't go wrong with it. All right, so for the last part of the video, I'm just going to read out a couple of things, like just the rest of the stuff that's added. There's one major thing that was added, like one more major thing that was added, and then the rest were just little things. I'll start with the small things. Weapons will now center in, in the attachment menu, so when when you click upgrade on your gun to sort your attachments out, it's just that the gun's smack bang it on there. Nothing massive. Modifications premium, account, uh, premium accounts have been made. I have no idea what that were. Like, I know I know what it says, but I don't know what the changes are. So here is one of the big ones, actually, there's two big ones, here's one of the big ones. Item stack size has now been changed to 9,999. This is great, like, because obviously you're not going to have loads of stacks of ammo in your uh, global inventory. So one, it's going to save you space, and two, you've not got to, like, keep going through stacks and stacks and stacks to find a certain stack of ammo. So yeah, that's, that's, that's perfect. Like you can't go wrong with that. They fixed the issue with the mailbox. Um, fixed some issues with uh, aiming down sight and stuff like that. But yeah, the other one is the the added aggressive PvP mechanic has been added. What they mean by that is, so when you leave the safe zone, if someone's following you from behind the safe zone, and then they shoot you in the back or whatever, and then run back into the safe zone, they're no longer safe anymore. You can still shoot them. People in the safe zone can shoot that person um there's a hidden timer no one knows how long it is it's 10 seconds 30 seconds or whatever so if you yeah you can't keep going in and out of a safe zone trying to shoot at people trying to get easy kills on them if you shoot someone you are now vulnerable and you can be killed until the invisible time is done like i said i don't have a timer on that we're going to test it but i just i ain't got around to it so sorry about that but yeah so basically camping the safe zone you can still camp people coming out of it but you can't camp it anymore like you can't actually camp the safe zone so to me that's 10 out of 10 update, like, absolutely, that, that update there is 10 out of 10, like, that that one. So, yeah, that was the changes in patch 19. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope you learned some things. If you did, make sure to give it a like. Drop a comment, anything that you want to know, any questions you've got or anything like that. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification for future content on this game and games like this. So, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Peace out.